Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. We're hanging out in my backyard. I want to thank you guys so much for coming to the channel, watching the episodes, leaving comments, leaving likes. I really appreciate it. Your support means everything to me and the pups. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different cool stuff, but particularly focusing on proper e-collar training. QD1, QD2, QD1, QD2, QD1. QD2. <laughs> now, if you guys are familiar with what e collar training is, it's basically how you teach your dog to be mega safe, but you have to be mega responsible in order to use them. So, if you aren't familiar with what they are, I'm going to teach you in this episode. We're going to take a look at one and we're going to introduce Gila to the e collar, and I'm going to teach you how to introduce your dog to the e-collar as well. Now I know the e-collar is illegal in the UK overseas. They don't allow e-collars, but there are collars coming out that don't have any shock feature. Basically they're just a sound or a vibration feature. And those are the features that I encourage you to use. I never encourage anyone to shock their animal or shock their dog. There are alternatives to the e-collars nowadays and you should definitely check those out. Now I train both of my Huskies on a vibration e-collar. They are only trained with this feature and all it is is like a simple vibration that you feel almost exactly similar to your cell phone. Get the ball, get it, get it, good girl. Get that ball. <laughs> Don't fight over it. Kick it. So what you want to do is go get yourself a reputable e-collar if you are interested in responsible e-collar training. And I'm going to go ahead and link all the best e-collars down below. And if you're interested in buying one, I urge you to get the ones that I post below because they are the very best and they're the ones that are responsible when it comes to dog training. What's your smell? What's your smell? Good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. You're such a good girl. Like I said, you should always be responsible when using e-collars, and you should only use them when you're doing off-leash training or training for emergency situations, and that is what we're going to be talking about today. So let's go ahead, go on inside, and introduce the dogs to the e-collar. <laughs> Okay, now that we're back inside, let's go ahead and talk about the e-collar. Woo, there's the pups, there's the pups. Looking at the e-collar, there's the pups. All right, so you're looking to get an e-collar, you're looking to introduce your dog or your Siberian Husky to the e-collar. What you're looking at right here is your typical e-collar. Now this is what you put on your dog's neck. There are two little prongs. You see these prongs right here. They should be touching the skin of your dog's neck. That's why they look long. They have to go through thick fur on some breeds. So that's why they look like prongs like that. The prongs aren't there to hurt your dog or make your dog feel uncomfortable. However, the e-collar is probably not the most comfortable thing for a dog to wear. I will admit that. This is why we wear the e-collar sparingly. Number one rule, do not put this e-collar on your dog and have them wear it all day long. Absolutely not. When you put the e-collar on your dog, it's for two things. One, training. And a training session should not last more than 20 or 30 minutes to an hour, okay? Number two, if you are gonna take your dog off leash and you're gonna go somewhere, let's say you're gonna go hunting, some people take their dogs out hiking, some people take their dogs out nature walking, all these different things. If you're gonna do off leash with your dog, I recommend wearing this. Those are the only two times that you need to have this e-collar on your dog. Don't ever put this on your dog and like leave home. Don't do that. Don't ever put an e-collar on your dog and leave them 
unattended. Don't do that. Those are bad practices. This is what gets people in trouble. This is what gives e-callers a bad rap, okay? Don't do those things. This is a training tool, okay? This is an emergency tool right here. I'm sorry I have beat this into your head, but I have to keep saying it because I feel like I'm responsible to say this if I'm going to go ahead and promote e-collar training, which I do. So now that I've gone ahead and beat that into everyone's head, here's what you're gonna do. When you buy yourself an e-collar, the very last thing you're gonna do is put it on your dog and take them outside for a walk because they don't even know what an e-collar is and more than likely it's going to shock them and not literally, I mean, it's going to surprise them the first time you use it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your e-collar and you're just gonna wanna sit on the floor with your dog and let them smell it and show it to them. Don't even put it on them. So let's walk over to Gila and let's just sit down next to her. Look at her, she's just like, what's up daddy-o? What's up daddy-o? And we're just gonna show it to her. Hey, look at this. We're gonna come over here. Look, here's Britney Spears. He's just like, what's up? We're just gonna show it to him. Look, that's pretty cool, huh? Just gonna let him smell it. What's this? Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. You wanna teach your dogs that this is not a bad thing. This is not a tool of punishment. This is something that's fun. So you're just literally gonna show it to them and just have them be used to it. Get them to smell it. Put it on the floor. Let them look at it. Let them explore it on their own. Yeah, see, he wants to smell it, put it in his mouth a little bit. He just wants to see what's up. Make sure it's off, obviously. Don't turn it on. And look, he's completely comfortable with this e-collar. He's not afraid of it at all. Look at that smiling face. He's like, what's up, guys? So that's the first step you're gonna do. Now, you know what doesn't hurt? Give him some treats. You know, make this a happy moment, look. Make this exciting. Look, we're hanging out with the collar. We're getting treats. This is the kind of thing you want to focus on. This is going to make your dogs comfortable around this e-collar. You don't want this to be a bad omen to them, right? So that's what you're going to do first. This is how you're going to introduce this collar to them. Just chill on the ground with it. Show it to them. Look, she's like, I'm totally down with this daddy-o. I love this thing. She's even got her hand on it right now. The next step you're going to do is you're going to put the collar on your dog. But guess what? You're not going to turn it on. So let's put the camera down and we're just going to put it on Gila real quick. All right. So one thing I want to show you guys is when you're putting this on, it's going to have to be a little bit snug. You don't want this to be loose on your dog's neck. You want it to be snug, but you don't want it to choke them. So make sure you can fit at least one finger between the belt and your dog's neck. So now that we got the collar on her, we're just giving her treats right now. It's sitting right there on her neck. A lot of people say, you know, if you have the collar on too tight, it will chafe their skin and all that good stuff. But guess what? If you have the collar on too loose, it will do exactly the same thing because they're gonna run and those prongs are gonna move all over their neck and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you can fit at least one finger between the neck and the collar and that should be adequate enough. So right now we got the collar on and we're just giving her treats. There you go, good girl. Now, you can basically just sit there, pet her, tell her, you know, good girl, good girl, while the collar is just on her, you know, just so she knows that everything's okay, everything's cool, the collar's not a problem. Now she knows that it's a good thing. We've given her treats, we've pet her on the head. Look, she's just walking around, she's like, okay, I got this thing on my neck now and I don't even really care about it. That is exactly how you want to introduce the e-collar to your dog. I can't tell you how many times people just grab the e-collar collar and they throw it on their dog, they take him outside and they try and just vibrate it right away, zap them right away. They think it's an automatic thing. Don't make huge steps with your dog. Don't take such large steps. Take smaller steps at a time. These baby steps are going to be huge when teaching your dog because dogs don't understand humongous steps. So now when we're done, we're gonna come over here, right? She's like, okay. And now we're just gonna take it off, let her smell it again, just so she knows what it is. Yeah, good job, good job. And then we're gonna put it away. That is all you need to do for today. That is how you introduce your dog to the e-collar. 
Now, we're gonna go over how to train your dog with the e-collar on. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to use the e-collar on your dog if you're interested in that sort of thing. I know it's a super taboo topic, but I want people to be responsible if they are going to buy an e-collar. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stick around if you are interested in this because many videos are gonna be coming out. If you guys really enjoyed, I have a Patreon, a Facebook, and an Instagram. All the links are down below, and all of the products I mentioned in the video are linked down below as well. So if you're looking for an e-collar or you're looking for an e-collar alternative, which I do suggest, 30-foot leads, all of those products you can find down below in the description. So I really thank you guys so much for stopping by, watching the videos. I really, really appreciate you watching. As always, me and the pups will see you next time on an episode of Whatever We Make. Peace! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba.